Hey, hey. All right, so I'm gonna start out, like always, doing eight to 10 inch poofs around the top here. Y'all, I like to fold that mesh over, then fold in each of the outside edges, and then scrunch it up. Y'all, I think Parker should leave me a project list on my desk every day. That was nice. All right, let's get this on here. Get it tied off. Y'all, that's going to be in my way, so I'm just going to throw it on the floor. All right. So, 8 to 10 inches, whichever one you feel better about. How's everyone doing? Y'all, we got so much stuff in today. A lot of it is Halloween and Christmas, including ball garlands. What the heck? You got your resupply box today and you love it. Hey, okay. Jacqueline, you just got done swimming. Jacqueline, we've had a pool now for going on two years. Uh, we've swam in it once and we've been fighting it for a year and a half. What the heck? I think we've been through three pool companies. Carrie, you already started your car with all the new supplies. Listen, those Halloween ball garlands, I already have mine. They're so pretty. You already ordered some of the ball garlands? I don't blame you. The, uh, the two things that are alike in your subscription box, weren't they amazing? Alright, so we did our 10 inch poofs all the way around the top. We can't say what it is yet because not everyone's got their box, but those two things that are alike, weren't they good? Alright, let's get our mesh back. Parker's new favorite. Everything is Parker's favorite, I think. Oh, thanks, Anna. All right. You grabbed the year-round kit today? That's what we're working on right now. All right, let's cut 10 of these at about 28 inches. Regina, I just sent your text to Parker. I saw it when I opened the apple all again. Two. I also feel like someone uh, might have turned the AC up. Four. 
are the boxes still available go to resupplybox.com and it'll tell you on the website if they're shipping out uh which box all right y'all listen we friends and i'm too fat to be this hot so let me go to the ac phone Y'all, somebody put it on 75. That's a sin. They need to go back to their terrarium. <clears throat> 75, y'all. 75. That's a terrarium. I'm out. Like, who ever heard of that? All right, so we got 10 at 28. Now we're gonna do eight at about 18 to 20 inches. Like, why is it so warm in here? What the? Y'all, and warm in Louisiana means sticky. Like, sticky. You can't be having all that business. So we did our eight to 10 inch proofs around the top. Now we're gonna go for our 28 to 30 inch ruffles. We're gonna ruffle these up around the bottom. So to do that, we curl each end just a little bit. 110 pounds down, congratulations. All right, curl, curl. Then just ruffle down the middle. All right. Then add that ruffle around the base. Everybody's getting their supply boxes. Love it. I know, but I can't even use mine until like next week. Because y'all haven't gotten them all yet. Michelle, I agree. 68 is a good temperature. Whenever Coach Fancy's here, she catches the hypothermia, but the rest of us are fine. Uh, Parker did not do a live sale today. Notice today that the coloration on your cow's nose wasn't right. So I'm gonna have to get the girls to check the printer and see why your pink nose wasn't pink. Yeah, I don't know why the app just did that. I don't know if Parker did it after I was live or what. What's up, Megan Fugate?
Melissa, fancy don't have no insulation. That's right. All her other friends do though, so. Y'all, these 28 to 30 inch ruffles around the base really give it a nice, good thickness. Your box is still in Louisiana. Sometimes I like to hold on to the good stuff, okay? Uh, Marley, I will not offer the back skin painted for $22.50. Uh, it takes twice as long on the printer, and it's just at $22.50, we can't afford that. You don't have to do anything on the back. Uh, you can seal it if you would like, though. You found it, Michael's finally. So it takes 17 minutes for the printer to go across one side of the door hanger. So that's why it costs more uh, on Etsy for door hangers because uh, they take two turns on the printer. So if you wanted to do anything on your door hanger, what you could do is you could take a uh, clear sealant and you could spray paint the whole door hanger. We don't do that because we don't have any place to dry 200 door hangers a day. Uh, Debbie, Mel covered for me for Tuesday, and then Marcus was live in there today. Robin, yeah, the t-shirts, uh, ship separately from another company. All right. So, you can see, this is where we're at so far. This is uh, 10 inch poofs around the top, and then 28 to 30 inch ruffles around the base so far. Now we're gonna take our 18 inch and go around the top. Y'all, I am drinking all my calories today. This is a strawberry limeade and it is delicious. <clears throat> all right, now we've got our other ruffle. We're gonna curl the edges just a little bit. Tammy, is your Facebook still jacked up? Is that why you're on Michael's? Yeah, when I run the numbers for painting both sides, we would have to charge you more than it's worth for you to be able to resell them at fifty dollars. Whenever uh, most 
we looked at a lot of door hanger people and most people don't paint the backs at all. So I wanted y'all to still be able to sell them and make money. Again, this is the kit that Parker put together. Uh, it was laid out perfectly on my desk, so I just took that as the hint that I should make it. Becky, you finally got a free minute. What you been doing, girl? Y'all, so if you got the box last month, that's what took so long, is that I did the fronts and the backs of the door hangers and the boxes. I was like, oh geez. They can't be doing this. Now, how many days is this garage sale? And are you selling all the things? Uh, could you apply a vinyl to the back of the sign? Uh, so the vinyls are only 10 inches and the sign is 18, so I don't think it would look that good. Uh, what should you do in New Orleans when you're not at the conference? You know what, I would talk to Carol Ward. She's like the perfect person to help you with that. This kid, uh, I don't know if it's still available or not. This is WK-075, and it's only $32.50. Alright, last ruffle. Last ruffle means my glue gun should be hot enough. Feels like it. Y'all, guess who's text? Guess who texted me? Tammy Hodu. Uh, Mel said her garage sale should be today through Saturday. That is a lot of days for a garage sale. You better like go make some stuff to bring it out. Let's get our sign ready next. said no I did not y'all at 8 20 p.m. Tammy Honda says you should be with three smiley crying faces
Y'all, I like to get uh, DAP Rapid Fuse Super Glue. Put a little dab at the top, a little dab at the bottom. Y'all, and don't overdo it. The more you put, the longer it takes to cure. I don't think I've ever had a garage sale. I've also never returned anything in my life. And my front foyer says that. There's a lot of boxes up there with stuff that should be returned. That is not. Y'all, once you do your little bit of super glue, I like to grab my hot glue gun and just kind of put hot glue around the edges. So the super glue keeps the foam pad attached to the metal, then the hot glue keeps the foam pad attached to the plastic mount. All right, so we're gonna let that glue dry while we make ourselves a little bow. Let me see what we're working with here. Oh, they went all out, y'all. They gave y'all the good pipe cleaners in this kit. We're gonna have to have a conversation about that. Y'all, if you got this kit and they gave you all these 20 inch pipe cleaners, these things are expensive, y'all. You keep one of these for your bow and then you put the rest of these up and you get yourself some normal pipe cleaners to tie the sign on, okay? Y'all, where did those brown pipe cleaners go? So y'all just stash the rest of those 20 inch ones and get some normal ones because you don't need a normal you don't need a 20 inch to tie your sign down do you, hey mail do you know that you have to pay taxes on your garage sale dollars Oh, nobody's in trouble. I'm just telling y'all, don't waste your good pipe cleaners on attaching the sun. Like, put those off to the side and store those for your bows. Lisa Kellum, we will be at market uh, Thursday, Friday, and fly out Saturday. Debbie, I only do uh, 20 inches in the bow. That's right. All y'all people saying cash only, better not tell me you have a business. And if you do, you better go take a little holy water bath because y'all sinning. and steal it.
All right, now let's do some 12 inch tails. Get a little pinch. Get a good twist. Now we're gonna make ourselves some six to six and a half inch loops there. Twist it again. It's a yard sale, Tammy Hodges. Let me zoom out. Tammy Hodges, isn't your rule of thumb the first sale makes you a business? Lead by example, girl. Who else thinks Tammy just said, S, fire, and burn the matches? We're gonna measure out eight inches. Give it a good twist. Only if she makes six hundred dollars. Eh. Call your tax adjuster and see if they want their money. Y'all, let me tell y'all a little secret. The last craft show that I went to was a fundraiser garage sale at a church. Okay. These kids were selling their toys to go to church camp, okay? Literally, like kids were out there with their used box match cars with 10 cent stickers on it, all trying to make $100. And the tax adjuster for Calcasieu Parish went through there and made them kids count out their pennies to pay their part of taxes. Not even lying. At a church fundraiser. The church's tax exempt certificate didn't qualify for the children selling their toys. Joy, you also paid taxes whenever you bought a ribbon, right? Debbie, I'm pretty sure in uh, Texas you also have to pay for a permit to have a garage though. I'm just saying, they after they after your garage sale pennies. the church going to say lie about your sales they're in a church ma'am anyways guess what the kids learned that day what it meant to run a business Y'all, we're going to take our 20-inch pipe cleaner. Let 
We're gonna slide it off. This is a kit, yep. WK075. All right, you're gonna push it down, tie it off. Y'all, we got a cute little bow there. Y'all, I dropped my sign. Not too fat to bend down like that for a sign, y'all. All right. Now, this is where if your kit came with 20 inch pipe cleaners and you have regular pipe cleaners, I would save your 20 inch for something good like a bow and not to attach a sign. If you don't have regular pipe cleaners, your 20 inch ones are fine. All right. Then we just tie off here. What's up, Crafty? All right. Claudette Ritter, how come I haven't seen you live lately? I saw Kelly live today. Y'all, and as soon as I said, hey, hey, she said, peace out, gotta go, bye. I was like, man, I hope she didn't peace out because I got here. Uh, the kit, they should still have some available. Uh, Parker talked about them today. We're not talking about taxes. We're giving Tammy a hard time. So we got our sign, it says home sweet home. Gonna slide that right in the middle. I'm just gonna tell y'all all right now, right now. If y'all think that we don't run a really big business and the tax people don't watch our stuff to make sure we pay our taxes. And y'all on here commenting, just take cash, just take cash. Y'all crazy. They watching. You know how we know they watching? Because they've called us before and said, hey, you said you did X, Y, Z in sales. Can we see the paperwork? So if you're trying to not do the right thing, I would not be on the internet telling people that you don't do the right thing. Don't do it. Okay. Y'all, we're gonna get our sign right here up in the center. And then we're gonna move it just a little bit this way to give a little bit more cushion over here. Like, listen, do what you gotta do and do what's on your own thing, but don't be, don't be saying it on the internet.
Yo, I recently got a letter from the state of Arkansas and they wanted to know if we had X amount of customers in their state so we could pay them taxes. All right, so we tied off the top one. We're gonna tie off the bottom one. Y'all, and I like to do top and then bottom and then go to the sides. What's up, Cody? All right, now we're gonna come over here to this side. that one in. You want to hear more about Richard? Richard is good. Richard went to the vet. Richard is half the man he used to be. He's probably just rich now. Um, every single day, new boxes show up in my house for Richard. Uh, Richard is now the proud owner of a $700 litter box. All right, now on the other side, y'all, don't pull your pipe cleaner back over here. Tie it off to this side. And then somebody tagged me on a video of a cat running on this circle thing so now I'm pretty sure Richard is going to get a $600 hamster wheel. When I looked around my house today, I was like, this is why we really could never have children. Because if our dogs and a random stray cat have this much stuff, can you imagine? Listen, this litter box cleans itself and then puts the poop in a little baggie and seals it off so you don't smell it. I cannot. I can't. Listen. One whiff and Richard would have been a barn cat. And we don't have a barn, so we would have had a situation. All right, y'all, I'm gonna add my bow right down here. Right in this section. Uh, Joy, he has two laser pointers. One that you operate and one that does its own little thing. You just put it on the floor and it shoots the laser all around the room. All right. We realize he's just going to look at the wheel and walk away. Listen, those cats on the TikTok like the wheel. Go to TikTok and put in cats running on wheels. All right, we're gonna tie these off. I need a warehouse just for my stuff. Girl, I got one right here. That's what we're standing in. Megan, Richard did not, um, Richard did not climb the Christmas tree, but he did jump off the second story banister. And I was like, well, now we have eight lives.
All right. So we just added our bow right there in that thick spot that we did. Kathleen said one of her cats loved the wheel. Here's the thing, the wheel was that much on Amazon. So I need to check around and see what it is other places. Mary, his cat tree's on the way. Y'all, we need some ribbon tails. I did not choose the name Richard, but Parker did. All right, so we need probably 17 of these. Y'all, today when I walked outside, there was literally crows in the yard, a woodpecker on the tree, uh, a cardinal in the squirrel feeder, a squirrel in the bird feeder, and another random squirrel in the grass, and two more cats playing in the grass. And I was like, what in the snow white is going on in my front yard right now? Literally, that's what I said when I walked outside. All right, now let's do our tails. Whoop, y'all, we have a cut right there. Look. Michelle, Parker said he was allergic to cats, but Richard sleeps literally on his head and we have not had any issues so now I have to wonder if he does not want a cat like what's really going on here Y'all, and I don't know what kind of woodpeckers they are, but they're only like this big. Look, they're the cutest little things. Um, I'm gonna try and get a photo of one. All right, so we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, No, all those animals in the front yard, that's because of Jessica. Because she feeds all of them. The cat likes Parker more than it likes me. And I'm the one that bought it the bougie litter box. And a bougie tree and probably a bougie wheel, and it likes to cuddle with Parker. Rude. They're called downings, the little miniature woodpeckers. There's re they're really cute. There's like five. They're uh, gray with little black markings. I don't know. That's all I got. All right, we need 17 of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Whoever feeds him the most is this person. Well, I bought him the automatic feeder and the water fountain. And I give it the catnip. Uh, these scissors are for sale on DecoExchange.com. So far, uh, Rue and the cat don't care about each other. That cat is living its best life in our master bedroom. He likes to go in the closet, which is not the place where you usually stay in our house. We're all out the closet. Well, isn't that ironic? It sleeps on top of the suitcase in the closet. So in my bedroom, I have a 200 and something gallon fish tank that has an open top. Okay. The cat is attracted to the water bowl because it sounds like a water fountain. Do y'all know what an aquarium sounds like? I'm just waiting to see if Richard can swim. Because y'all know good and well, he's going to find himself on that ledge behind the fish tank, scoping it out. So far, he hasn't even noticed the fish are in the fish tank. All right, y'all, we're taking our 12 inch tails. We're laying the two and a half inch underneath the one and a half inch, pinch it right in the middle. Give it a little push back like this. Then we're gonna add one all the way around. Once you get them in there, just spread them out. No, my fish tank's not going to have a lid. He's going to have to learn. Richard is the only cat, and he's all the cat we need.
What color is the mesh? Um, it is burlap with a little light gold foil in it. It's really pretty. Y'all, and listen, if Richard catches a fish, I'll just buy me a fish. That's their own fault if he lets the cat eat them. Like, you got 230 more gallons to swim around and you want to swim in the one little top part where the cat can get you? That's on you. You better know better. Alright, so the tails are 12 inches. Fold it in half. Rebecca loves this month's supply box. Uh, Parker and Jordan put this box together. Can y'all tell that Jordan had some input on the box? Scat can will keep them away? What is a scat can? That don't even sound good. Where's the best place to buy a pick machine? Uh, eBay is a good place to start. Then Sam's Club. Y'all, me and Parker actually go to market, well not market, we go to Chicago on the 9th, I believe, to plan out the January to August boxes, which is crazy. It's a can of air with motion sensor that hisses. Y'all are trying to scare Jessica. She's gonna be up there trying to dust and it's gonna blow air on her and then she's gonna freak out, she's gonna knock over the aquarium and Richard's gonna drown. See, we can't be having all that. Today, I went home around lunchtime and Jessica was just a mop on the floor and had her music going and I guess she didn't realize I was there like all the dogs just stopped barking and she didn't think somebody was home and she turned around and I was standing there and she thought she died Uh, Crafty's going to cra Crafter's Convention. Okay, listen. If y'all go to Crafter's Convention and y'all don't tell me hi, like, literally, walk up to me and say, Hey, I am XYZ. So excited to meet you. And if you're not excited, just lie and tell me you are. Thank you. Kelly Hedberg, I was just talking about you, friend. I want to know why you were live, and then I get there and I say, hey, and you're like, peace out, I'm, like, I'm done. So you get this box automatically. 
Uh, if you are a subscription box member, you do get your subscription box every month, if that's what you're asking about. Yeah. Kelly, I noticed. You were ready to work on something, and then I got there, and you were like, nope, not today. I'm out. Derricka, what hotel did Jasper go to? He went somewhere. The kit is $32.50. Alright, so we're going to take the same thing around the top, fold it over, pinch it. Then we're going to start adding our ribbon tails right around the top. And now Kelly doesn't dip down on me. Just like Claudette. Claudette was here. I asked Claudette why she wasn't live. Claudette dipped out. Now Kelly's like, I ain't saying that. What the heck? Rude. Y'all, if you go to craftersconvention.com, you can get all the details on Crafters Convention. Uh, I do speak there. Oh, wait. Kelly said I had to finish everything, did my promotions, only showing new supplies. Mm -hmm. Kelly was like, nope, I'm out. Y'all, and then... Okay, if you know me, you know if it's like m longer than 30 minutes, I'm, I'm ready to fly. Like, I am not a rider. I'm definitely not a driver. Like, I usually have people drive me everywhere we go. It's not my favorite thing to do. Kelly, I know, I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, no? But y'all, when I leave Crackers Convention, I'm gonna drive all the way to Indiana because I have to be at another conference Sunday night in Indiana, and it's only like three and a half hours to drive there or nine hours to fly because I gotta go to like Miami or something first. It's ridiculous. So, we'll see how that goes. Lisa Rand, if you don't come give me a hug at Carver's Commission, I'm going to be mad. Because we're longtime friends. Derricka, by myself. You want to come? You can drive. I got a convertible. You've been trying to get a ticket to go? Okay, somebody posted today they have a ticket for Crafters Commission. Who was it? Charlene Stelly. Charlene Selly had a ticket. She posted in the How to Make Reads Facebook group that she has a ticket that she needs to get rid of. Where in Indiana? There's a Caesars Resort somewhere in Indiana. Tammy, where did I tell you that I was going? Lexington? No.
You live in... Okay, where is the airport that, um... Pretty sure the airport is in Kentucky that you have to fly into. Y'all, the Indiana one is a painting one with diverse uh, woodworks. Uh, Tracy has one. Tracy, I'm so mad at you because you're not bringing me brownies. And I wasn't even going to let Jace hit you in the head with the tray this time. But, no, you're dipping out on me. Okay. Louisville, Kentucky is where the airport is, and the convention is like 15 minutes. All of y'all are dipping out on us at Crafters Convention. That is so rude. You're in southern Indiana? Okay. Well, maybe I can find somewhere to host a little meetup while I'm there. Because I'm there. Okay. I get there Monday, but my thing's not till Wednesday. What am I going to do in a casino from on Monday and Tuesday? So... Y'all let me know if there's some good craft stores, a good place to eat, because we got to keep up the thick here. Y'all, we need, evidently I can't count. We got to cut two more tails. How did, how did I miss it by two? What date is Indiana? Uh, the days after Crafters Convention. You're 10 miles from Caesars. Pamela, is there anything good to do there? Like, where can we do a meet at? Jennifer Smith says that you work for diversity to keep us entertained. Jennifer. Where can I host a meetup for my people that don't paint? Help get out. Margaret Covington said, uh, you went from Florida to Texas in your Tesla and it went great. Margaret, I am not a good Tesla traveler because I don't like to stop and wait for it to fill up. Carrie, do I look like a quilt kind of person? The seam messed me up. Yeah, but I had two cuts before the seam. What's the nature of there? Uh, if... Y'all, I need my calendar to give y'all dates because I will lie to y'all. I leave on the 13th and I come home on the 21st. So on the 20th, the 20th is whenever I'm doing the thing with diverse woodworking. So those dates. That's what I know. Antique stores. I'm pretty sure I told y'all yesterday I've never been to a flea market. Here's, okay, listen. I don't like to buy used stuff because you don't know who died that had it before and what if they had some bad juju?
That's how Annabelle was started, just saying. No, no, not 620, 720. The real Christmas tree store. Y'all, last time Tammy sent me to a Christmas tree store, it turned out to have Halloween stuff that wasn't cute. So, I'm not trusting her with this one. Nope. If you need sage to bring it into your house, it ain't the right thing. Oh, did I tell y'all? Did we tell y'all about at the Mastermind house? Y'all, literally. Okay, we've been using this house for a year now. No problems. This time, I walk in the front door, and within 20 seconds, I notice right at the front door, on the hutch, is the funeral cross. Y'all know what cross I'm talking about? Whenever... Someone in your family dies, and you go to the casket, and they give you that little cross with Jesus on it. It was in a bowl on the hutch. Why? Who decorates with that? In a house that people just visit. What, what flea market y'all think? Okay, now I have to ask myself, who put their family's cross in the flea market... And who went to the flea market and bought someone else's family's cross? And it was right outside Tammy's bedroom. And the first thing when I saw Tammy, I said, Tammy, you saw it? She said, I saw it. And we knew. We knew. Y'all, Randy is here. Randy is with Diverse Woodworking. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about the event, you can definitely talk to them. Y'all, I will get more information about the event, share it. I did text once about it, but I'll post some more information. Which of the coaches are going to Crafters Convention? Well... Mel's not because she has better things to do. I'm just kidding. Mel, uh, Mel had already planned another business trip. So she won't be there with this. Um, I don't know if Fancy is going to be there with us or not. She's got all the babies at home. But me, Tammy, and Jordan will be there. And Derica. Wait a minute. We're from Louisiana. Don't they have some spiritual mojo down there? Yeah, we do. We got the voodoo, and we got the rigaroo, and we know that you don't bring any of that bad juju home because people are out there hexing you with it enough. Like, listen. You had a cousin who put her husband's ashes in a garage sale? I mean, if you don't like him, he don't have to be your responsibility forever. You have your grandfather's, your grandmother's cross? Y'all, I'm not even lying. Um, whenever my grandfather passed away and they were emptying out his house, they had a garage sale. And I saw his aunt's cross in the garage sale, and I sure texted my people, and I said, y'all wrong for that. Get that cross, and someone better bring it home. 
It was sure on the uh, table where they were selling all his stuff. Randy, you can post the link, yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. This is the fun little wreath. Who would buy someone's ashes? Not me. You would love to meet me, Derica, Tammy, and Jordan. Well, we're all going to be there. So if you don't meet us, that's on you. Huber's Orchard and Winery is a great place. Your sister-in-law has her brother's ashes on the front porch, on the back porch, and her sister's ashes in the spare closet. Well, how come the sister is in the closet and the brother's on the porch? That's rude. You don't know that custom of getting across at a funeral. Maybe it's just a Catholic thing. I don't know. All right, y'all. That's it for tonight. We do have a lot of new inventory. I think I heard a little rumor that Parker is doing a live sale tomorrow. So you may want to go check out what we have tonight, just in case. Missy, do it. Uh, info at DamonHoods.com. Family Feud never does. What do you do with the green pipe cleaners? You, everything I'm doing, you saw right here, right now. That's it. You may have to call in to work for this. Jeanette, come. It's fun. Your friend has her mother-in-law's artificial leg in her closet. Y'all, how is Parker supposed to repurpose this video and we talk about all these dead people? What the heck? Okay, I'm out of here. You guys have a good night.